Let's move on now. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in Washington, D.C. However, there is no clarity on a meeting between Bibi and Biden. Netanyahu was expected to meet the U.S. president on Tuesday, but it was postponed due to Biden's COVID-19 recovery. According to latest reports now, Netanyahu is expected to meet with the U.S. president on Thursday. That is a day after the Israeli premier delivers a major speech to the U.S. Congress. However, in an interaction with the reporters, the spokesperson for the United States Department, Matthew Miller, said that the meeting has not yet been finalized between Netanyahu and Biden. Netanyahu is also expected to meet with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris during the trip, though that sit-down has also not been finalized. Apart from that, reports now suggest that so far, Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump also has declined to schedule a meeting with Netanyahu. Netanyahu's latest visit to Washington comes after months of growing tensions with Washington over Israel's continuous offensive in Gaza. The Israeli Prime Minister is under immense pressure to strike a deal that would free the remaining Israeli hostages being held in Gaza in exchange for a halt in the fighting. Well, meanwhile, Hamas has signed a Chinese broker deal. And for more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Ranana. Amid reports that the Israel Defense Forces have killed the commanders of Hamas and the Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigade in Tul Karim in the West Bank, Hamas has said that it has signed a Chinese brokered agreement to work towards a Palestinian unity government. Now, one of Prime Minister Netanyahu's principles for a hostage truce deal is that Hamas would have no role in governing Gaza after the war. This will be a key focus of Netanyahu's address to Congress on Wednesday, as well as his subsequent expected meetings with President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris at the White House. In Biden's first public remarks since withdrawing from the election, he said that mediators are on the verge of a hostage truce deal and talks are expected to resume on Thursday. This is Jody Cohen for We On World As One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.